Hi everyone, my name is Taylor, and this is our tiny house. Come check it out. So the whole house is 415 square feet, including the loft, but the part that is walkable is 250 square feet. This is what we use for our front door, even though it goes into our kitchen and we have another door on the other side. In the living room, we don't really use it. We just use this one. So we have an awesome full-size kitchen. There's a lot of natural light in this room, which I like. Up here, we have our refrigerator, freezer, trusty broom, and this step stool, which I use a lot because I'm short and sometimes I can't get stuff out of the oven <laughs> without it. So we use that. Over here, we have, like I said, an oven. It's a convection oven, but it also duels as a microwave, which is super handy. And then here is an induction two burner stove. So that just means that the pots and pans have to be magnetic. I don't know why, but they do in order to work with this. And then we also have another stove top thing that you can plug in that I keep down there if I need like three burners. Over here we have some open shelves with all of our stuff that we use, which I like it. I think it's really cute, but it also helps me to like, you can't just throw stuff in a cabinet because it's what everybody's going to see. <laughs> and then down here we have our Lazy Susan that we keep for like, it's basically like a pantry. It works well. This beautiful farmhouse sink that I love. I think it was from Ikea. And then down here we have just our trash can and, you know, bags and stuff and then some cleaning supplies. Full size kitchen. Got our towels. Over here just like bowls and different things. This is probably our junk drawer. And then over here we have a table. That's really nice, it's from Ikea. Probably every tiny house has one of these because it goes up on both sides and then it folds in so that way you can have like a big table or a small table or a really small table like this. And honestly, we keep it like this. We don't have chairs that go with it because just because it would just kind of be, they would be just sitting in the corner. We eat our dinner on the couch. That's what we do. <laughs> so we have this awesome, beautiful, um, window <laughs> and then up here is a mini split and so we just have this little remote that you can turn on and off and it heats and cools which is really nice we don't really heat a ton in the winter surprisingly because the tiny house is super insulated so it stays really well temperatured and plus the heat rises and the loft gets like crazy hot so we usually just like keep it normal in the winter sometimes we'll put on the heat um, or just honestly keep it at like 72 in the summer too. So yeah, that works. And then up here we have these really tall ceilings, which I really like. And um, I love that octagon window up there. Over here you can see part of the loft. This is where the loft cuts off. Now the original house was 12 by 12 and it was a living room and then there were stairs that go to the loft. and. It, it's, this is in my parents' backyard, so we wanted to live here um, and we wanted to like live simply and you know not have to pay crazy rent for something that we didn't even like. And, <laughs> and so anyway, we, um, and by we I mean my dad and my husband, they tore down the wall and then added a bathroom and a kitchen, which is what you see now, and then extended the loft and the ceiling. It was not easy, but it took maybe I would say like six months, but that was with us working full time and just like doing it on the weekends and stuff. And the total for the house, including all the supplies and even like our furniture, you know, our refrigerator, our couch and all that stuff, it was 17,000. So it's pretty good. And that was like, we were paying 12,000 per year for rent. And so it made sense to us and we've really been loving it here. And we've been here for three years. So now we'll come over here. We have this narrow hallway, which we can't, we can't really fit together anymore because I'm getting bigger, so it's like 
taking turns. But anyway, so you come over here. This is just like some practical storage. We have like games in the filing cabinet. And um, this is like where we keep our hair cutting stuff because I cut my husband's hair. And then this is like coffee, tea, just storage. And then over here we have this really awesome thing that we use for like a coffee and tea bar, which my husband makes a ton of coffee. He might be a coffee snob. <laughs> and then down here we keep our shoes. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's functional. And then over here is our vacuum. So it fits perfectly down there, it works well. And then my mom made this and it just out of like I think an old tablecloth that we had, so it works really good to kind of cover that up. And then over here we'll come into the living room, which is what was the original uh, little tough shed area that this tiny house first was. Obviously we renovated and stuff, it looks really not anything like it used to. So this is the living room. We have a full-size couch, a chair. Over here we keep our blankets and pillow, extra pillows and stuff. It's really pretty wood uh, table. And then over here, just, you know, basic living stuff. We have a really awesome bookshelf. I don't know why I just love this bookshelf. I think it's just because I love books. And I, look, I just can decorate it and it just looks so cute because they're books and books are cute. My little plant babies that I haven't killed yet. Praise the Lord. And then over here is like my husband's work area. He's, he's a music major and I was an art major. So we have my little art station over there, which I'll get into next. But we have this awesome chair that he uses and he sits here on his laptop and does secret things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then down here, you know, his storage and stuff. He custom built this. I don't know if I said that already. He custom built this for the space. Um, so it works really well. And then we have our TV that he also uses for like a se second monitor if he's doing like music stuff. And then over here, I just have this little like caddy thing with all of my art supplies and books and stuff. Um, I have like my Bible and pens and things. So it's just like my little area where I keep everything. And then obviously we're expecting, I'm not just gaining weight. So the baby's crib is probably going to go here. People are asking me like, where are you going to put the baby's crib? I'm like, in our living room. And it, it'll work out. It'll, it's going to be great. So he'll have a little area here. I'll probably like decorate it all cute and stuff. And then this will probably go in our kitchen. We measured it. It should fit where that other table is. So that's kind of the plan right now is to move those. And then over here, got our bathroom. Narrowest little door you've ever seen. And it's a pretty good sized bathroom. Over here is our shower. Really nice. My dad tiled it. Thank you, dad. And you just close that when you want to take a shower. Keep our towels right here. And then over here we have a toilet. This is our dirty clothes basket. And we don't have a washer and dryer here as where would we put it? So my mom um, lets us use theirs across the street and by across the street I mean like 20 steps away so I literally just like carry this to do laundry once or twice a week and then up here we have just storage just like toilet paper and stuff I have my makeup and my brush and different things like different miscellaneous storage things this thing that I made to keep all my jewelry and then over here the classic Ikea sink that every tiny house has and then this is also from Ikea but this isn't super exciting just different supplies that we use in products yeah that's the bathroom and then we'll go oh I almost forgot this also goes up That's how we put it up. The only reason we put it up is if we want to watch TV and we want the TV to like be moved over here. So I'll show you. So I usually just put it up like that. You can put it up all the way, 
but then I would have to get the little stick thing to get it down and I just like to grab it. So we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> and then if we want to watch a TV show or a movie or something in the evening, we'll just move the TV like that. It works pretty well. Yeah, we'll sit there on the couch and watch TV. And then I'll move this back. <laughs> this down. If a pregnant lady can do it, you can do it. Boom. Okay, let's go upstairs to our loft. It's getting harder and harder to climb up those stairs. So, over here we have our bed it's a full queen size bed and then this is like i was saying this is the kind of barrier for the locks so we don't fall over and it's drilled in the bottom so it's pretty sturdy but we also keep it as storage and i like this just like open area even though the ceilings are pretty short it um feels pretty open because of all the natural light and all the windows i don't really feel claustrophobic up here and then over here we turn this on every night. This is like white noise and then it's good for the summer too. So this is my side of the bed, that's my husband's. So we each have our closet in the back, I'll show you. I just have this little area. Trash can. There's a window over here. And then come to our closet. So this is our closet. My mom got me this little stool, which I really like because it helps me. Sometimes I'm like, what do I want to wear today? So I'll sit up here and pick out my clothes here. We don't get dressed up here because it's kind of too crammed. So we usually just grab our stuff in the morning and then go downstairs and get dressed. But this is where we keep all our clothes. And then over here is just um, like pajamas and things. And this is like my off season clothing our underwear and all the other things people use <laughs> up here I have like scarves and hats and just various things this is my husband's side so these are his and then that's his closet so yeah it works really well it's pretty big actually um, we built this all obviously by hand but we like personalized this and bought this thing and made it sturdy up there this is from Target and it is the one that goes um, this way, but we just turned it to this side. <laughs> so yeah, it works well. You come over here, I'll show you one more thing. So one of the things that I really wanted was something like this because <laughs> the original, this is like the original design, obviously, of the tough shed so it had this like huge open gap and like it's just scary you know I thought we were gonna like roll off and fall down to our desk so I asked my husband if he could build something like this which this one we never put up because it's just safer that way and even when you're going up the stairs like it feels weird if you can feel like you're gonna fall back so this is nice to have so this just stays down all the time and it's really sturdy so I mean, I sit on there like it's part of the of the floor, so it's good. And then this part, it works out well because we obviously keep it open during the day and stuff. But at night, we close this. <laughs> there we, close it. we close it like that, and there's a handle, so um, like we don't like roll out, roll over and <laughs> like fall or anything. So yeah, and then in the morning, we'll just like open it back up. Sometimes I wake my husband up because I'm like, <laughs> he gets just like gives me the eye like, calm down woman. <laughs> so anyway, that works out well. But yeah, that is our tiny house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below of anything that maybe I didn't answer, or you're just curious about, I'd love to answer all of your questions. Let me know, and if you wanna see more videos about intentional living and just living simply, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.